1998, Sony developed and released Blaster for the PlayStation. The game focused on the main character Blaster, who, after returning from the fifth dimension, comes up against the alien tyrant of Bosk, who desires to conquer the Earth with his army, and afterwards desires to focus his attention on invading the entire galaxy as well. It's all left to Blaster to save the Earth from Bosk and his army. The gameplay had Blaster being that of a platforming, shooting themed game similar to the character's name of Blasto. What's interesting is that due to the year release of the game, in the final years of the PlayStation's life cycle, both joysticks on the controller were capable of moving the character of Blasto during play. At the time and prior to the game's release, gaming technology could either have none of the joysticks unless the game specifically had such features and was just the directional part, or just one stick could be used for gameplay, not both. Blaster was not officially announced until the 1997 Electronic Entertainment Expo, but sources say that the game was secretly in development since 1995. Blaster was heavily advertised at the time, and Sony possibly had serious intentions of turning Blaster into a possible franchise for the PlayStation, or even looking ahead to the PlayStation 2 as the console was released just two years later in the year of 2000. Blaster's appearance and traits were heavily inspired by the cartoon-like optics of main characters from other video gaming franchises of the 1990s. However, records from the time also mention that the game was supposed to have originally been released in late 1997, but was released in 1998. Sony never gave an official public reason as to why. Records also mention that the video game and the character were supposed to be promoted in one of the premier video game magazines of the time in Japan, under the title of Captain Blasto, but was abruptly cancelled for unknown reasons. Upon release, the game received a mixed response from critics and gamers from the dynamics of the game as well as the character of Blasto. Partly the reason why the character and game were so negatively received is that the game had an unusual amount of difficulty for the levels. The gameplay was challenging for the most part and casual gamers simply didn't finish the game or lost interest while playing it. The story of the game was considered generic and nothing truly different from what was already out there with other games. The character of Blasto did not really catch any gamers or critics' attention. It was considered very bland and not worth remembering. Sometimes a character could be forgotten because the developers wanted the character to be known, but gamers did not. 